Hey guys, how are you? So um, today I am going to channel Lisa Marie Presley and um, Elvis is um, absolutely kicking in here as well. So we might hear from him. Um, uh, before I do that, I just want to explain a few things um, and it circles around into Lisa Marie Presley. I'll explain how that does in a second. I just, I had someone um, asking basically for clarification about stuff and it was it was a little difficult for me to type it out and um and then I was just like I got hit in a prompt with okay I need to make a video about this need to um and <clears throat> so that's where this is coming from um I know that what I'm going to talk about right now is going to be repetitive with things that I say a lot in many of my videos if not almost all of them um but like I said I do have people asking for clarification and explanation um so I do want to give that and it, like I said, it does circle around to Lisa Marie Presley and, and how does it. So basically <clears throat> with her transition home, again, illusion is surfacing through the collective, which is what happens when this stuff happens and, you know, but now we're being aware of what this is and so we can work on melting it away. So there's different types of conspiracy theories and whatnot that are popping up over this. Um, and with, again, where I'm at, you know, I'm on the other side of these things and I'm within that truth. I mean, within truth. And those are the messages that I'm going to get and receive and give out. So explaining this, um, explain the fact that I come from truth, you know, remember, remembering the fact that there is no, sorry, my words are awkward. I'm asking, okay, Eric, please help me with my words. There is no such thing as conspiracy theories and illusion, right? Remember that's illusion. Illusion's not real. Anything that's not love isn't real. All that happened with her is she merely transitioned home back to her original energy form. She transitioned outside of illusion completely. It's like ascension. It's a quick ascension. You, you blast it up. You're outside of illusion. Um, and then on top of it, there is no death. There's no such thing as death. There's no such thing as separation. That's illusion as well. And we're melting that away now. We're remembering and we're allowing them online. We're allowing them back. They can be a solid human to human to us, but we need to allow that, right? <clears throat> so I do want to talk to Lisa. Um, about I just called her uh here Eric's kicking in he's helping me thank you ask for help ask for help and you shall receive it um so I do I because I was like I and I was just like I just called her Lisa and they're laughing they're like they I'm very much in that space you're gonna hear me say they and we because again this is how it's been for me for a while but it's also very very much coming online that we are one there is this oneness and it's it's all so it comes out they and we often <clears throat> so lisa um is saying it's okay to call her lisa um in fact i was supposed to double check there ding it came out that way it was supposed to um and we are going to talk with her um a little bit here i just want to get into some explanations so um someone had been asking me because i um I, we're talking about, I was talking about how, um, you know, we time and plan all this out, right? None of it's true. We plan all of it, all that stuff. And <clears throat> even these, Eric, even these, what, what we could call conspiracy thoughts are illusion thoughts that we choose to cling to. They're not true. And we choose to indulge in that. And it's up to us to not do as such and to melt that away. And <clears throat> so, and again, all of it's been played out yet. None of it happened, right? So someone had been asking, except here in the 3D realm, you know, we all see the same stage and all the political stuff and all the murkiness and the density. It feels like it's real and it looks like it's real. We do all have the same shared experience. 
We all share the same consciousness. The thing is, though, it's not real. It's illusion. It's not actually happening. We do sign up and want every sign up for and want everything we go through, and we nothing can happen without all parties agreeing to it. Okay. So. <clears throat> This is where it can get confusing because it feels real and it looks real and looks like it's happening, but it's actually not. So I'm asking Eric to help explain to make things a bit more clear. He's he's working on giving me a visual. Hang on. Just give me a moment. I'm just trying to it, the, the visual is there. It's just I'm trying to get it where we are trying to get it more solid and I'm trying to comprehend it better and be able to put actual words to it. So just give me a moment. I'm asking Eric to make it clear, expand it more and make it clear, explain further. So I'm not quite there where I can explain it properly out loud. Okay, so the first main thing that I can express that I'm seeing is like, I'm hearing angels singing like the song that we're all singing back home. If you hear if angel singing, you're going to know what that is when you hear it. It's the song we're all singing back home. And I'm seeing light, like source light, home's light, our light. Okay, he just he changed he just changed a visual and making it easier for me to explain. Thank you. So within that light, I'm seeing <laughs> it's it's very cartoonish and playful, um, little humanoid looking, almost like looking like cartoony paper cutouts, <laughs> um, white paper cutouts that's cartoony looking and humanoid, um, and they're dancing around in this light, and they're throwing this basically like it looks like confetti. And the confetti is illusion. And the whole time they're laughing and dancing, right? And the confetti is just all illusion. And we're sprinkling it, throwing it all around. And we're laughing and watching it and think, looking at how beautiful and cool and funny it is. We can see, we, we, we can see that there's, there's some, it, it's, it feels like fun and play. And we can see that there's, there's laughter and play. It's, it's fun. It feels playful. So he's expanding. Give me a moment. So the confetti looks dark. It started out looking light, now it's looking dark. And we're still laughing and dancing and watching the confetti. And now the confetti is turning into this big kind of big, big looking as in size, but like flat and thin and very light, extremely light, dark veil, basically, like a, you could call it a veil. And we are underneath the veil, dancing and laughing. And I'm seeing how we morphed, like we chose to morph the veil. We, we took the confetti and we morphed it and we made this veil, this darkness. And we're still under, we're dancing and laughing and watching it. And now I'm seeing the veil burst back into the confetti again. And we're still dancing and laughing and watching it. And now I'm seeing the confetti absorb back into us. And we're still dancing and laughing. And the whole thing about the confetti is now I'm seeing it coming out like, you know, in cartoons and you see like thought bubbles coming out. It's like that. The confetti is looking like thought bubbles. It's like, it's like a giant thought bubble coming out. And I'm seeing them as little thought bubbles and forming into one big thought bubble. And then we absorb it back in again. Sorry, it's expanding. He's explaining further. Just give me a moment.
he what he's saying is within that thought bubble and that 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 thought bubble that cartoon dark veiled mass that very light thin darkness it really is like watching a movie I mean, it's like watching a movie screen. You're seeing, you're watching this movie play out and it's just entertainment. It's playful and there's no judgment and it's love. And now I'm seeing... Yeah, dang, yes. Okay. Now I'm seeing how each scene from this movie that we're watching, it looks dark and scary right but it's a parallel to what's actually being played out so here underneath we're dancing and laughing it's all actions of love we're having so much fun playing together and we're watching this movie where we're projecting these thought bubbles out and we're choosing to play this movie this way in these thought bubbles and it's it's it really <sighs> eric help me please An illusioned projection over top of truth. And you're learning to not project that illusion. And that's really what it is. It's you can see I'm seeing this these thought bubbles, this confetti. So again, the confetti it starts out like because it is, that's what it is. It's all light, right? The truth of it's all light. So that's what I'm seeing first. And then and then I'm seeing how we, we, we purposely change it into darkness. And then we purposely turn it into this big giant light light veil, which is super light. And then and then I'm seeing again this this movie that that we're projecting out and we're making it. We're making it through this process of thought, right? And then underneath it though is like the actions of what we're actually doing. And so and we're just pretending that this movie that we're watching is what's actually happening. And we're choosing to forget, we chose to forget that that is just a movie we're watching. And so I don't know if that's helping you guys at all. He's pointing out to the thought and energy work and how, how and why that works to help explain further. So We, cho we choose to cling to illusion, which is separation, chaos, pain, attack, sickness, um, death, um, you know, all of that. Anything that doesn't feel good isn't true. No, anything that's not coming from love, it doesn't feel good, isn't neutrality, isn't truth. Why? Because we wanted to experience what we truly are, which is love. How can you experience what you truly are when that's all there is? So we chose to make illusion in order to navigate who we are not and untruth in order to experience what we are. We gift each other these experiences within illusion. Experiences. Eric even is pointing out how <clears throat> we're not even having these experiences because it's not actually real. It's not actually happening. It's just an illusion we're projecting out and playing with. It's like a video game. Right. When you're playing a video game, are you worried about the fact that you're actually hurting these video game characters? No, because, you know, it's not real. That's what this is. It just feels and looks like it's real. But that's because of, particularly because of the amnesia and the oblivion that we've been clinging on to. But we're waking up and remembering. And as you wake up and remember, you start to really see I'm telling you guys this is not real and you can change it like that. And you start to see it more and more and more. It's just hard to wrap your head around because it looks and feels real. And Eric and my team and your team, spirit, energy, God, source, your higher self, who you truly are, acknowledges and recognizes it feels and looks real. 
but that will start changing and you do start remembering what this all actually is. So he's circling around to, sorry, give me a sec. So he's circling to the thought and energy work. When you do the thought and energy work, like I talk about, you know, sitting there facing it, feeling it, accepting it, and then inserting in the heart chakras of your loved ones and up into source light and, and asking for acceptance, uh, you know, help with their per acceptance, perception, change, neutrality, all that stuff, right? What that's doing is... <clears throat> So like, remember why, why we're doing this, navigating through it this way. So we're clinging, we're clinging to these illusions, but we're waking up and remembering. So when you do this thought and energy work, you've got all this chaos, this illusion chaos swirling around inside you. It's like when you go into the illusion of like mental health, you know, <clears throat> you have to, you have to feel your emotions and release them and talk, talk about them because if you bottle up your emotions, you know, you can physically make yourself sick. It happened to me in grade, and that's, but that's just it. Like, cause I was going to say in grade seven, I developed stomach ulcers because of the stress from, from what I went through that year in school. But that's just it. Our bodies are the map of the consciousness. They're going to reflect what we're feeling inside, right? The illusions that we're playing with. <clears throat> but then it's also going to reflect when we allow truth and project that out. So, cause they had mentioned about, you know, you're seeing all these bodies dropping and all this stuff within Hollywood and everything. Again, those are rules being played. And, and it's all happening. Everything that happens that looks like that it's bad or anything, everything, everything we're doing is to help wake each other up and remember what this actually is. It's all lessons. All things work for us, not against us. So... <clears throat> When you do that thought and energy work, you are taking your illusions, your baggage, your illusions, and you're inserting it into source light and it's melting it away. It's disappearing no longer, never happened. And that's just, it never happened, never was. But this is melting it away, right? And now you've had left an opening within yourself where truth now inserts, which is nothing but love, joy, happiness, bliss, abundance in all things, you know, unity, thy will over my will, oneness. That is now what's now not being blocked. And you now start projecting that out and that starts being reflected back at you. And it can take layers, but it will eventually get to that point where all these illusions of death, attack, illness, pain, separation, all of that does go away because it's not real. We're choosing to play with an illusion, a video game, a dream, that it's real and that this is happening to us, but it's not. <clears throat> so it's, you know, again, if you feel a call to take action, you know, take it. I, if, if I see someone in need, I'll try and help as whatever, in whatever way I can. At the same time, it's also super important to remember these are roles being played with an illusion. Duality isn't real. And up until now, we've forgotten, but we're remembering. And that's why this switch and this change and, and the narr narrative is changing because truth is coming online and old paradigms are melting away. The thing is we are, and that's just it. What's the best answer I can give to all of this after 18 minutes of talking? We are God. All is God. You are God. And the thing is we are waking up and remembering and I'm getting tickled in my stomach right now. This is, this is Eric wants me talking about this to end this off before I start talking to Lisa. <clears throat> the thing is we are remembering and waking up to the, the fact that we are God. We are literally limitless. And what is God? We know for a fact because we are allowing our full awareness online too. We know everything. We were just playing with amnesia, but we're melting that away. We're coming out of amnesia right? The meds are wearing off. We're waking up, <laughs> right? So we're remembering. We already know we're bringing our full awareness and full abilities back online. We are God and we are limitless and we are nothing but love, right? So, um, so, 
sorry, I'm just bringing it back down to this one part here. So that's what that is. That's why, that's why these things are changing and why, you know, it's not real. And we're bringing truth online. We're remembering that we are God. And the moment you remember you're God and you start accepting that and accept that you make this, but none of it's actually real and it's all been played out, it starts changing. It starts changing. And then you're just like, whoa. It really is. It's just like you get, you're just like this. Oh my God. This is, I'm literally in my own movie. This is like a movie. And I know what that sounds like because this is, this is a movie. It's a dream. It's magic. This is so much bigger than what I've ever realized. Holy shit. And it's, it can be hard to understand until you get there. So I, I know that this is the same stuff I've said over and over and over again. I don't know how helpful this is. I don't know if those examples are helping. I have to trust it. I was getting it from Eric. I said it for a reason. Even if there's one person that resonates with this and understands it, then that's everything. You know, um, it's your God, your God, and you are literally love. So how can there be anything else? There isn't. We're playing pretend, but we're remembering and we're waking up. So you can look at any situation and you can find the lesson. You can look words, look inward. If you're triggered by any situation, any thought, any feeling, you, I promise you, I 1,010% promise you, you will be able to go inward. And if you dig deep enough, you will find something within yourself. Where you're like, I projected that out. All pain and fear comes from resistance of what is. And what is? Love. Why are we so ashamed of it? Because it's so, well, not, not ashamed. We're ashamed of ourselves because it's so big and so powerful. And this illusion feels so, this illusion is freaking amazing. It's so strong. I sit, I, I have, oftentimes I've sat and go, oh my God, holy shit. This is, what, what the fuck? This is like, this is the strongest fucking illusion ever. Like, this is one hell of a fucking video game. Oh my God. The technology that we have for this, but that's just it. Technology, it's energy, but that's just it. Look how powerful we are. Look at how powerful you are. You're powerful enough that you made something that's not even real. And you can't even remember that it's not real, but you are remembering now. And look how powerful you are. You made yourself so, to, you, you made yourself forget so strongly, but that's how strong you are. You're able to come back out of that amnesia and you're doing it yourself because there is no other. So I hope that helps. And now I want to tune into Lisa. Give me a second. I need a sip of water. So I'm tuning into Lisa. She was standing in front of me, but once I acknowledged her, she just crouched down. Um, she's holding onto my hands. She's smiling at me. She's, um, her energy feels very sweet. Um, she feels very sweet. Um, I'm feeling mix of a, both a motherly and sisterly vibe off of her. Um, and now it's very projecting strong as sister, sister vibe. Um, she's, I'm just sorry. I'm just, I'm, for some reason, I'm really focused in on her hair. I don't know why. It's just, her hair is just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so focused. Her, she, or she's having me focus in on her hair for some reason. I don't know why, but she's having me, having me focus in on her hair. Um, so I'm saying, hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> and then I do, I just, I have the natural urge to just say, I love you. I'm like, I know nothing about her, but I mean, that's what the truth is. I, I, I'm just like, for some reason, I'm like, I just want to say, I love you. <laughs> and she's laughing and she's saying, I love you too. And she's saying, of course, that's the most natural thing. Love is the most natural thing. Of course, of course, you're going to want to say that. Of course, you're going to feel that that's what we are. Love. I'm tuning in with Eric and he's saying ding. So I'm asking her, I am asking her, I'm saying, I'm going to go there. And I'm asking like, are you willing and wanting to speak? Or what are you saying to, you know, your quote unquote death transition home, you know, do you want to talk about conspiracy theories or, you know, what happened or anything like that? 
asking you, I'm just breathing and relaxing and tuning in. <laughs> She's smiling and laughing. She's saying, you know where this is gonna go. <laughs> And she's saying, it's okay, you know that this is what you're here for. Because she knows I'm like, they don't want to be hearing this. They want the juicy, dark stuff. But that's not truth. Eric saying ding, and she's nodding and smiling and agreeing. And I just got tickled on the bottom of my left foot. Confirmate, heart, like physical confirmation, thank you. Okay, so what are you wanting to say about it? What would you like to say? Well, first I'm hearing I love my family. I love my family so very much, so much. It's, um, if I, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. If I wasn't such in a space of just this calm neutrality, I'd want to cry right now with how strong the love feels. Um, and that tickling was strong confirmation as well for what I'm receiving. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. She just said I'm with my dad. As you guys all know. She's saying, please focus on the love. That's what you're here for and you're ready for now. And I'm getting tickled on the top of my um, right foot as I'm receiving this and saying this. Please focus on the love. It's not true unless it's love. I'm home. I'm free. She's saying like Chantel said, like I said, she's saying I'm, out, I'm outside of illusion. And she's saying you are getting there too. And I'm here to help. She's pointing out that's a big reason why this is happening with Hollywood within this illusion Thing of linear time within this one timeline um, you know she's talking about that's why this is happening because these are big moments there people recognize these names and it makes people go excuse me makes people go huh what's going on and the moment you start questioning is the moment you start becoming aware you start questioning and a big part of that is is going down the rabbit holes she is she is pointing to me and what I went through and the fact that I am on that other side. I've been there and I'm on the other side. It was it those are big steps. Not everyone has to do that, but if 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 if, if someone is going through those rabbit hole conspiracy theories, it's for good reason because it, it leads them out into the light. You there is another side of it and they realize what that is and and you know people who are celebrities or have big names you know, it, it gets the attention of the masses and that's important. Eric saying ding. I'm getting tickled on the bottom of my left heel. I keep forgetting what's my right. I've got my legs crossed. So I'm like, what's what? I'm just um, asking you, sorry. I'm sorry. I got a little distracted there. What else are you saying about that? I mean, we are here together. She is, she's re-acknowledging we are all helping walk each other home. And you are getting there. We are getting there. I'm hearing I loved my life. Again, I love my family. Oh my God, my head.
she didn't know that she was gonna do this <laughs> oh she she did know she 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 did plan this out you guys all plan this out and uh so she just she just didn't technically remember that she was gonna allow me to come through like this so please please know that i am very happy i lived a very big happy life and the the only truth really is love I really do want you to focus on the love. Please, just please, please do that for me. Um, and do that for yourselves. You deserve that. Everyone deserves that. And what is deserve anyway? Because the truth is you guys have that love and the abundance and, and everything that is, that is there. That is love and truth. It's, it's there for you all. Always. It's, it's always there for y'all. And it's just a matter of allowing and online. <sighs> Fucking egg. I want my fucking hat. Dude, she doesn't, her hair is fucking down. This is what I get for not fucking prepping her. <laughs> Letting her fucking know that I'm going to be fucking coming through. Uh, no, dudes. Um, she, she fucking knows there's always a chance of this fucking happening. Um, yeah, dudes. It's, uh, it's, uh, first of all, fucking A. Yeah, it's Eric. You fucking know it. <laughs> you guys fucking know that shit. Um, but yeah, you guys still might be a little confused about some of this shit and it's, that's normal. It's cool. You're good. You will, you will start getting it. And remember, you will have those aha moment click-ins and, uh, remember you do, we really do. We all share the same consciousness, so you can't not get it. You can't not know. Um, it's only your perception, your illusion that you don't, and it's only a perception illusion that others don't. Right. Um, it really, really is, guys. It, it really is. It's just this matter of you've got this fucking, you got this cloak and you're walking around and you look at an action of love and you go, I'm going to throw this cloak over that and then I'm going to forget that I did that and I'm going to choose to think that that shit's happening out of my control and I didn't have anything to do with it. And then when you're ready, you remember that you cho you throw that you threw that cloak over it, and you take the cloak, and you go, oh, I don't want that cloak on that shit anymore, and you throw it into the light, and you dissolve the cloak, and it's gone. Right. So, and 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 it does. It, it we get it, man. We fucking get it, guys. This shit feels fucking real. We fucking get it. It feels fucking real. But it's not. And. It does, this fact that the illusion does feel real, that does start to fucking change. It does. The more you work on yourself, that does start to change and it starts to not feel real. And it does get easier. Like I have said many times through Chantal and whatnot, you know, you guys do choose to make it difficult. It doesn't have to be difficult. Difficulty is illusion. That's okay. Everyone's been doing that. And you're fucking learning not to. And you're learning to make it easier. It does get easier until it gets easy and the difficulty, the illusion of difficulty and all that shit's 
gone. Never happened. Never happened not happening. Which is why working on, again, you know, learning to balance your emotions, control your mind, that does, it really does. It gives you fucking complete control of this shit. You know, and, uh, Hang on. And yeah, man, doing that, doing that thought and energy work. And you guys do, you guys do it and you fucking let this shit come online and, and the illusion really does start to feel and look like and a dream, illusion, a, a movie, a video game. And you're like, holy shit, this shit's not fucking real. And then it does get easier. And like I said, that shit of the illusion of difficulty goes away. And, and yeah, so fucking staying, staying in that ever present now, staying in the now is, you know, like I said, working on learning to balance your emotions, control your mind, staying in that ever present now helps you focus on, on the fact that there is only an ever present now. And, you know, your, your mind's not wandering off on all these different illusion pathways. There is no past. There is no future. That shit never happened, you know? It feels like it did. It feels real. And enjoy what you're going through in each now. Right? And feel what you're going through in each now. You can't freaking not feel it. You have to bypass it. Right? So feel that shit. But then remember what it actually is. And eventually what you're feeling ends up being just love and fucking bliss and joy and happiness and all fucking beautiful things and it's fucking great so yeah man you guys got this you are god you're fucking you're, you're god you're limitless and you're remembering you are and you're bringing that shit back online and it's really fucking cool and it's really fucking beautiful so yeah and remember you're not alone in this at all we're all there with you supporting you and guiding you and helping you in whatever ways you allow us to come through it's not that it's difficult for us to get to you. Remember, that's another old paradigm that's melting away. We're always there. It's what you allow us to bring through. We can, we come through easily. Whenever, even the smallest fucking opening, easy for us to come through. It's just a matter of you allowing it, right? We're all racy. We're always here. And that's just it. We're, we come through when you give us those cracks through your illusion. But then we're always here. And it's, it's you allowing that online fully, right? So... Yeah, you guys got this. It's exciting. I can't fucking wait. Let's fucking play. All right, let's do this. All right, I love you guys. One now at a time. You got this. Fucking A. I love you. Peace in and out. Hi. Oh, we're almost at 40 minutes. Um, so apparently, I just translate summary Presley. Really? I am um, sorry. I'm like, my brain is just like kind of stopped right now. I'm like, really? I just did that? Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. All right, I'm asking her if there's anything else she wants to say before I wrap this up. She's saying, I love you. She's blowing kisses. She's saying she's with you. She's singing. She's she's serenading. She's serenading everybody. And she's giving me a visual of um of <clears throat> each of us. So like, you know, you, 
it's like individual like it's one person but i know it's representing all of us um each person you know if you want her to like when you're <laughs> sleeping at night or getting ready for bed like trying to fall asleep she's sitting with you singing you lullabies helping you put put you to sleep <laughs> it's really sweet so i'm seeing her like rubbing your back as she's singing she's got like a microphone in her hand she's singing while she's like gently rubbing your back while you're falling asleep and like stroking your hair it's really sweet like i said i'm definitely feeling like a motherly vibe off of her as well so um all right i'm just gonna end it there um thank you guys for everything i appreciate you all so much um i need to trust myself in this i'm like did i really just do that <sighs> i need to trust it I know I, I know I also tranced Eric and I, said, I think back I'm like okay can I remember anything they said all I know is I tranced the both of them uh, it's not I'm not getting like anything I don't I, I have to watch back and see I have to watch back and see because I don't know what they said I don't know what they said uh I think I can't remember anything she said, but I feel like she might. Did she kick, come through with? Did she come through with a little bit of an accent? I don't know if she had an accent. Uh. And then I questioned, like, how can I remember this stuff? But I can't remember anything else. And then I got to remind myself it would make sense for me to remember some stuff. And I'm going to get to a point where we'll remember it all. Like, we, we literally share the same consciousness. And telepathy is coming line. True telepathy, where there is no back and forth. We already know everything. So I got to trust that too. So I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just looking at Lisa. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Hey, enough of my ramblings trying to figure my stuff out. <laughs> all right. Thanks you guys for everything. I hope you enjoyed this. Got some stuff out of it. Um, I love and appreciate you all very much. Um, and as always, oh yeah, sorry. And before I say that with all the explanation stuff, I hope it helps. I'm trying, you know, yeah. So Remember, I have my filters and blocks too, so, um, and I'm working on that as well. So, I'm doing my best here, guys, I promise. <laughs> all right, I love you all very much, and as always, have a wonderful now. Bye.